Hi, I'm Lauren. I'm a current student at the University of Vermont, and I work for Student Financial Services. Today, I'm making a video on walking you through how to accept your financial aid offer. I'd like to begin by saying that loans and work study offers have been made in the name of the students, so it's necessary for the student themselves to accept that from their MyUVM student portal. I'll also be going over the timeline on what to accept your aid offer, and it's recommended that you do this before the first billing cycle, which is in some time of mid-July, and that way your financial aid will be accurately represented on your bill. So to begin, you'll want to log into your MyUVM student portal, which the home page looks something like this. You'll then go to the top of the page and click on Student Financial Services. From here, you'll go to the right hand side and under financial aid, click on view my award and then select the desired year for which you would like to view the award for. This will bring you to the general information screen of that award package. There's no action for you to take on this page, but it does contain a lot of good information that you should review before proceeding forward. After reviewing this, you can then click on the resources and additional information tab. This resources and additional information tab is where you'll either agree or disagree to the Title IV authorization. Before submitting this information, you will not be able to move forward to the Terms and Conditions or the Accept Award Offer tab. They will both be grayed out and unable to click on before you click Submit Information. So it's very important that you fill out your Title IV authorization agreement. The Title IV authorization is required by the federal government for UVM to receive permission from recipients of federal aid on how to use that aid toward the student's accounts. If you agree to the federal Title IV authorization, then that means that UVM can use federal funds to apply to miscellaneous purchases and expenses, such as a library fine. Once you click Submit Information, then you can proceed forward. It's recommended that you do read through the terms and conditions of your award offer before actually accepting or declining your award offer, which is done on that last tab of Accept Award Offer. You can see here that scholarships and grants will already be automatically accepted on your account, but you will still need to make a decision for your loans and work study. You can do this by clicking on the Select Decision drop-down box and then either clicking Accept or Decline. You do have the option to accept a partial amount of loans and scholarship or loans and work study. And if you'd like to do so, you can enter in the amount in that accept partial amount box. However, if you would like to accept the full amount, you can disregard that accept partial amount box. After doing this, you'll then click on submit decision and you are done with all your steps on this page. However, if you are a new federal loan borrower, you will still need to go to the studentaid.government website, which is where you filled out the FAFSA, and complete online promissory note as well as entrance counseling. You will only need to do this once if your loan provisions stay the same for your following years at UVM, but you will still need to apply to the FAFSA every year. Accepted loans will show as pending aid on the student's bill, whereas the federal work study is going to be paid directly to the student, so it's not going to be reflected on the bill. If you have any further questions, you can contact Student Financial Services and we'd be happy to help you out. Have a great day and go Cats!